today comes from the book of 1st John. The book of 1st John. Not the Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. But a little further on, up the, up the road there, past writings of Paul, you'll find a little book to call 1st John. Everybody have to say amen. Okay, 1 John chapter 4. Chapter 4, verses 1 through 4. 1 John chapter 4, verses 1 through 4. Amen? Everybody got it? Amen. Just four verses. Now, let's read as such from the King James Version. Beloved, believe not every spirit, All right. All right. All right. but try the spirits whether they are of God. Mm -hmm. All right. All right. Because many false prophets Amen. Amen. are gone out into the world. Hereby know ye the Spirit of God. All right. Every spirit that confesses that Jesus Christ is come in the flesh is of God. All right. And every spirit that confesses not that Jesus is come in the flesh is not of God. And this is that spirit of Antichrist. Whereof ye have heard that it should come, and even now already is in the world. But ye are of God, little children, and have overcome them. Because greater right is he that is in you all right, all right. than he that is in the world. Amen. 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 God had a blessing for all for the reading, hearing, and doing of his holy word. Amen. theme today, the theme today is the greatness in you. The greatness in you. The subject is the Holy Ghost. The subject is the Holy Ghost. In our scripture today, God is warning us about the false prophets and the spirit of the Antichrist that is in the world today. And as we know, it seems to be getting stronger every day. We see it in the media, All right. <laughs> in politics, yeah. on TV, All right. on your smartphone, mm -hmm. in the movies, yeah. in music, in books, and even in our own homes. Yeah. And sometimes, even in the church. We see the Antichrist spirit attacking us and our children with a spirit of promiscuousness, adultery, fornication, 
sexuality, well, all right. the use of marijuana, mm. and prescription or designer drugs. All right. It's promoting alcohol, top shelf Hennessy, yeah. 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 Right. revealing and provocative clothing. One step above being naked. Mm. All right, all right. Hate, cruelty, Come on. injustice, Come on. flowing like a river across our land. Come on. Attacks from atheists mm. and scientists and false prophets against the biblical truth of our faith All right. and against the word of God. All right, Always trying to blame Jesus for the sins of others. We face the spirit of Antichrist mm -hmm. every day. Mm -hmm. It tries to draw you in to it like a moth to a flame Talk about it. with its sugar coated lies mm. and shiny distractions mm. it uses seduction and temptation mm. to convince you to join it yeah. accept it right. agree with it and become it. The spirit of Antichrist will try to get you to abandon your very faith in God. To turn away from the word of God. And get you to dismiss Christ Jesus as your Savior. The atheists Scientists and people from non Christian faiths. We are surrounded by the Antichrist spirit. But Christianity has something that all the naysayers, scientists, atheists, non Christian people, non Christian faith, doesn't have. In fact, if they did have what we have, they would be Christians themselves. And that is the Holy Ghost. The Holy Ghost is greater than any spirit of anti. Greater than any scientist, atheist, or any other non-Christian faith. The Holy Ghost is a gift we have to have in order to overcome the spirit of the Antichrist in this world. The Holy Ghost is the he in the scripture that says that's in me that will overcome the evil in this world. Jesus and the Holy Ghost are the greatest gifts you can receive from God. I'm going to say that one more time. I like that because it's so true. You stamp it on your forehead, not do it. Jesus and the Holy Ghost are the greatest gifts you can receive from God. Better than the C500 gold Mercedes Benz 2024 that you got your eyes on with the gold wings. Better than the 20 bedroom house with the pool, tennis court, basketball court, front yard, Ford Ranch, everything else. 
better than anything in this world. Don't ever think that just because somebody have more material possessions than you do, that they are better than you. Because you have the greatest gift mankind can ever receive. And that's Jesus and the Holy Ghost. With the birth of Jesus all the way up till now and on through to the end of days the Holy Spirit is a gift you will receive if you accept Jesus Christ as your Savior. Your personal Savior. Claim the blood of the sacrifice. Be baptized. Recognize him as the son of the living God. With the inheritance of your faith being the Holy Spirit. It will be like getting a light that will guide you through the darkness of this world. The Holy Ghost is the rock that Jesus was referring to in Matthew 16 and 18 when he said, upon this rock. Peter was named, but Peter didn't have the Holy Ghost at that time. If he did not, I'm sorry, if he did not have the Holy Ghost at this time, his faith would not have been complete and he would not have been able to recognize Jesus as to who he is. If he didn't have it, we would not have withstood the attacks from the gates of hell up to this point and beyond. The gates of hell and the spirit of the Antichrist was going on even back then. The Holy Ghost is passed down from generation to generation within the children of God. When you accept Christ Jesus as your personal Savior, claim the blood of his sacrifice. Be baptized. Uh -huh. Recognize him as the son of the living God. Uh -huh. You will inherit the Holy Ghost. And all the promises given to his people. So right now, just by sitting there and being at home or watching video, uh -huh. hearing the word of God, you have a chance mm -hmm. at having everlasting life for yourself and your loved ones. Yeah. To be equipped to fight the spirit of Antichrist in this world. Mm -hmm. For your prayers to be heard by God yeah. for a communion with Christ Jesus and to be comforted by the Holy Spirit, the true children of the living God show greatness of their Holy Ghost. The Bible says in Psalm 139 that we were knitted together in our mother's Womb by God. Yeah. And we are fearfully and wonderfully made. Uh -huh. yes. In 1 Peter 2 and 9, it says, We are a chosen generation, yeah. a royal priesthood, uh -huh. a holy nation. A peculiar people 
that give and show praises to the God that has brought them out of darkness into the marvelous light of the Holy Ghost. And I say again, greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. Use the greatness in you. When some blind fool totally immersed in the world with the hidden motive of trying to get your mind, body, spirit, possessions, resources, finances, ask this one question to them. Is Jesus the son of the living God? What's the question? Is Jesus the son of the living God? You will know who they are, but what they say in their response and how they say it. The Holy Ghost greatness in you will guide you through the darkness of your life. Yeah. All right, all right. And if you don't feel that you don't have the Holy Ghost, yeah. just claim Jesus Christ as your personal Savior, Savior today. Yeah. And start your Christian journey. Mm -hmm. Jesus and the Holy Spirit is the greatest gift from God. Yeah. Yeah. Say it again. I said it about three, four times, maybe one or five times, somebody know what I'm talking about. Jesus and the Holy Spirit is the greatest gift of, of God yeah. that God has ever given mankind. Yeah. That mankind has ever received in history. Yeah. Which is why the spirit of the Antichrist is trying so hard to keep you from it, yeah. trying to steal it away. Yeah. But don't just take it from me. Mm -hmm. Take it from some of the other preachers that I've heard, great preachers that I've had the privilege of hearing yeah. while I've been a member at Rose Hill. Yeah. Re Reverend Samson says, He's sweeter than honey yeah. on a sugar cookie. Mm -hmm. Reverend Dare says, he's my rock, mm -hmm. my sword, mm -hmm. and my sheep. Right. Yeah. Reverend Smith says, he's the nuggets mm -hmm. in a pot of gold. Reverend Stroud says, mm -hmm. I feel like praising, praising him. Yeah. Yeah. Mr. Andrew says, yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Bishop Hardy used to say, Glory! Glory to God! Yeah. Dr. Tate says, He's the lily of the bed. My bright morning star. He's bread in a starving land. And he's water in dry places. He's a rock in a weary land. A doctor when you are sick. He'll put food on your table and clothes on your back. He will take you from the south side of a northbound mule 
in a cotton field with a cotton sack to a big house with a Cadillac. He can pick you up, turn you around, and plant your feet on solid ground. He's away out of nowhere. He's home for the hopeless. The light in the darkness of this world. I say he's my sunrise at the door. He's my cool drink of water on a hot day. The sap from the maple tree. He's my way out of nowhere. My strength when I am weak. My light in the darkness. My grace and my mercy. My blessing and protection. My freedom from the bondage of this world. Amen. Thank you. But I have to say this before I take my seat. Remember this. This is very important that everyone should really hear this, and I'm 100% serious. Dr. Tate has taught us there are only two sins God will not forgive. Those are called sins unto death. Sins unto death. The first is blasphemy of the Holy Spirit. The second is self-murder. Blasphemy of the Holy Ghost is called the sin unto death. That you cannot be forgiven. Since today's message was about the Holy Ghost, don't let the enemy put blasphemous, derogatory, evil, hateful thoughts into your head about the Holy Ghost. Direct them at me. I can take it. Call me whatever you want to call me. I don't care. Because I'm on my way to heaven and I ain't got time to stand here and listen to your stuff. Whatever reason. Disrespect me, treat me with contempt, do whatever you want to do, say whatever you want to say. But do not disrespect, talk about, make fun of, either say or think anything bad about the Holy Ghost. Because it will mean damnation for your immortal soul. With that said, uh, I'm going to ask uh, Reverend Smith if you could. Uh